Well, this is the Vintage RV here back again after a couple of rough days. Uh, was working on the alternator, making sure that it was uh, functioning as it should. And i got to be honest with you, I don't know what I did down here. I have no idea. But it wound up resulting in me swapping out a uh, distributor cap and rotor, the ignition control module, the coil itself. Uh, testing everything with with my test meters over here trying to get everything up and right the sucker would turn over and it would refuse to start no matter what I did this I even changed back to the old solenoid from the new one over here I went back to the old one tested it it was fine went back and threw the old one back on uh, this all started when I tried to excite the uh, alternator by touching the prime the battery cable to the primary connection the R connection uh, which is what you're supposed to do to energize the uh, stator and the rotor because the darn thing wasn't charging no matter what I did it would the battery would go dead so you know I was mucking around with that and next thing I know I'm gonna turn the thing over she starts running wrong she's not running right next thing I know cranking it cranking it cranking it and it, would, it just wouldn't it would not start it wouldn't turn over so I'm figuring, okay, I blew the uh, ignition control module. So I replaced that. I have pictures of that up on my blog. Taking it each piece apart, getting into it, checking it all out, and actually going through and testing it. I'll list what those values will be, too, if you want to go on the blog and, and see that. at It's actually a website, but it's a blog. It's thelonghauler.com. And uh, so, yeah, I got her up and running. She was a little rough trying to start her up. Had to get my foot stomp on the gas a little bit and, and use the good old-fashioned uh, starter fluid here a little bit. Not too much, but just enough to give it some extra boost. And now, if you look, I don't know if you can see it here. It's hard to see because of the light, but you know, my hand's in the way. You can see here now it's way above the halfway mark, which is where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be charging like 13, 14 volts. You know, so I'm going to turn on the headlights to see what happens when I turn on the headlights. So there we go. It turns on the lights. It didn't really change the, but it did change the gauges. So you can see my gauges are nice and bright. And uh, I got my uh, transmission temp going. My tachometer, as you can see, it does work. Ooh, I don't like that sound. Pulling in my carb. You can see the jets down in there. If you look carefully at it, hopefully it won't backfire on me. See the gas? Go right in there. So that's what you're hearing is the jets. So we got... So she's idling at around 750 to 100 RPM. I did get a clock to replace that crazy compass. I haven't set the clock yet. It will read more than just 12 o'clock. And uh, yeah, so now I've actually got it. So the darn thing, and of course I love my vacuum gauge. Love to be able to see where I'm at with things efficiency wise, air fuel mixture. So that's a good indicator there. So uh, yeah, so, you know, worked on it. I still got some electrical bugs. You can see when I have the lights on, this light turns on. And the signal goes on. It, everything's LED, so it blinks like twice as fast. And there's that one. That blinks. But that sucker will not go out. There's got to be a ground somewhere that's not uh, connected right. So I've got to fix that. But uh, other than that, you know, it uh, seems to be working okay. So, whew, that was, uh, that was a weekend of work. Now i got to get back to my regular job. Uh, getting some drawings done for folks, but uh, in any case uh, That's that's what's going on here. So again uh, transmission temp gauge Before I go I'm gonna show you down in there where I wound up installing it If you can see that That's where I put the center. That's about the only place It would work it was right there and That's what I did there Again got my alternator working Good. And out of here, 
I'm a little scared to turn her off and start her up again. Maybe I'll do that right now. Hold on. Let's see if I... She's warmed up. So we'll see what happens if I do this. I'm going to turn the lights off. Okay. So now she, she's definitely warmed up. All right, let's see if this thing will actually just start up now. Because it's warm, I shouldn't have to press the choke. I should be able to hear the fuel pump kick in. There goes the fuel pump. There we go. So she's evening it out right about 30 pounds pressure for the oil pump with me not on the gas. And again, the voltmeter seems to be reading way above half, not totally two, three quarters, but better than it was, a lot better than it was. I used to watch this thing go down and down and down until it was in the red zone and the thing would cut out on me. So that's good. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad things are now working again. As my wife would say, now don't mess with it, but I can't help myself. All right, guys. Stay tuned for further videos. Take care. And uh, pardon the cell phone footage. My other camera is uh, being worked on. All right. Take care.